Guys, we are back with another Megalodon shark tooth hunting video. Yes, I know it's been a long time, but we have been on the hunt and we have not stopped filming. If anything, we've been getting as much footage as ever. Before I kick this video off, I just want to thank you guys and say I enjoy making these videos so much. And a lot of you guys say these are your favorite videos that we make. If you want to support the dream and you want to support what we do, all we ask is to drop a like on this video. We got a playlist for the previous nine episodes linked in the description. And let's dive right in. A pretty awesome thing to note about this series is this series actually inspired pranking the entire state of Florida part 2. March 1st we made a video with this thumbnail pranking people with a fishing line that had a megalodon tooth tied to it. And in this video we say that we plan on recreating this thumbnail and if you've seen the megalodon shark prank we filmed, I think we did a pretty good job. So here we are with episode 9 and just to bring you up to speed, when we started doing this 10 months ago me and Merrick went out in the rain knowing absolutely nothing but if you find somewhere that's being dug deep enough, there will be shark teeth. And on our first day, first hunt ever, knowing absolutely nothing, we managed to find some amazing megalodon teeth. And our first megalodon teeth, one of which I'm still wearing as a necklace to this day. Since then, we've learned so much about Florida and its ancient history. A lot of people still don't know that a massive part of the United States were completely underwater, and that's why almost anywhere between Florida and North Carolina you can find megalodon teeth. Over the last 10 months throughout the videos, you can clearly see our progression. Our cleanups got bigger, our teeth get bigger, and the quality of our teeth get nicer. Almost all our past videos are from one site, or at least close by one site, in an area near Venice, Florida. But recently we got put on a site that actually has a Bone Valley layer in it. For those of you who don't know, Bone Valley teeth are some of the most beautiful teeth, if not the most beautiful teeth on the planet. Bone Valley is also where numerous Ice Age fossils and several new species were found. Actually, Ruskin, Florida held one of the richest Ice Age fossil deposits on the planet. If you want to know more about Bone Valley, I'll put a link in the description to a killer documentary that I watched about Ruskin, Florida. The crazy thing about this new spot that we go to is that there's actually mammal fossils below the shark teeth fossils. I'm going to assume that that means that mammals lived there at one point, then Florida went completely underwater, the megalodon sharks moved in and ruled the sea for a while, then it became land again, and now we're digging there. It's crazy that there was actually giant mastodons, mammoths, megalodons, giant sloths, Indians, and now modern humans all in the same place. I think that's why I'm so interested in this. Every time we go on a hunt, we're on an ancient beach or in an ancient forest, and really exploring and recovering some of the only evidence that these places ever existed. So before I get carried away and take you guys into the first night on our new spot, we gotta go finish out the original site. This place managed to bless us with three of our best tooth hunts of our entire lives before the lakes filled in. The luck we had was unbelievable. So we're gonna dive right in to night number one. We're down in the bottom of a lake right now. With some green sludge. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what this green sludge is. You guys let me know, should we be worried? That looks really gross. Looks like green algae almost. All right, so I was walking back. See that? There's this guy, there's this guy, and then there's this, whoa, this piece. Those were all just sitting right there. Woo! And it's starting to rain. I think we should probably look through here a little bit more. <laughs> like, hell yeah. Okay. I don't even know how I'm going to film this. I don't have hands. Almost a four inch tooth in the fanny pack. Keep hunting. I thought that's what. Oh, oh. All right. Can't complain, really. Just this with a little water. Another meg. Not perfect, but still pretty cool. Four into the fanny pack. I just found this Hemi. Pretty epic one. And then if we look to my right, we have a big root in this natural waterfall. Oh, still nice, but damn, that's a shame. A little broken there. Alright, I've been washing over here with a bucket. Came across this bad boy. Ooh, it looks good. Yeah, baby. Alright, I'm walking back to where stick bug is. Can I see that? That's two. Oh, there's another tooth. Oh, 
there's another two. Oh! 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 That's a half of a bay. What is going on? We are absolutely scoring tonight. Alright, we're in Stick Buck's little corner. And I see a blade and a dolphin tooth. Oh, that's a nice Mako. Careful with that thing, that thing looks nice. Oh, that is such a clean dolphin tooth. <laughs> no way, that's a good find. Stick bug spraying this out, and I don't know about you, but that looks like a root to me. Try to pull it out. Oh, that's a big ass Mako. Wash that thing off. Metallic. Oh, flip it over. Damn, that's a sick one too. Across these two suckers as well. That's pretty sweet. Okay. That thing would have been a monster. Nice find. All right, we're killing it, dude. Yeah. What else is on these piles? Another shark's tooth hunt. Five inch tooth belly flop. Five inch tooth belly flop. So before I show you guys what I made out with that night, we got to give a big shout out to Bang Energy and the Bang Energy CEO. They keep us powered on these hunts and they support the dream. So thank you guys. So tonight we hunted for about three hours, splashing walls, digging out banks. Diving away from falling diving banks. Diving away <laughs> from falling ledges. Be careful, everybody. And uh, this is what we made out with. Can you get all those in one shot? <laughs> yeah. No, that is actually absolutely insane how many makes is that one two three four five six seven we'll count that one eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen eighteen megs two three four five six seven makos <laughs> stick bug so sick dude. all right we're killing it <laughs> Oh, I think uh, I think we should go look for more. I, I definitely don't think, think so. I don't think we're allowed to leave yet. I'm not ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh. it goes neck high right there. I can't even get back up. <laughs> You're slipping. See that? Oh. All right, now we're just gonna pray that we can somehow get that out. Can we get some water? Looking so good. Dude, there's a root. There's a sick root, bro. Please, please. please. Splash some more water. Easy. Shaking, dude. Hold on. Hold on. This is the spot, bro. We Hold gotta... on, dude. I thought this was already the best Meg hunt of my life, but <laughs> that is a cranker. Sick. Another shark's tooth hunt. Five inch tooth. Five belly, inch flop. tooth belly flop. Well, walking around, I found two more. Stick bug found a couple more. Dude, that Mako is huge. I think, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we found 25 megs tonight. We're gonna put them all on a table at my house. All right, so as you guys can see, we absolutely killed it last night. That was the best night of Megalodon shark tooth hunting we've ever had. We pulled out something like 25 megs in one night. 
and I got that four inch cranker that was wedged into those rocks. It's been sitting there for who knows millions of years. I try not to have high hopes when teeth are like that because almost every time teeth are stuck in matrix they get destroyed. Somehow that tooth was close to perfect. My best tooth of the night was one of the last teeth I found of the night. Uh, after finding 25 bags in one night and having insanely good luck, we gotta go back the exact next night. So this is the next day. We're going straight back out to the same site to see if we can not keep our string of good luck going. Who knows, maybe it'll be a five inch tooth. Maybe we'll find 30 teeth. I doubt we're gonna do as good as we did last night, but we're gonna try and we're gonna go ham and we're gonna film all the Megalodon teeth that we find all night tonight. All right, so we're in the bottom of a pit, the same exact pit that we pulled 25 megalodons out of last night. John, how long ago did we get here? Like five, 10 minutes, not even. Cool. What we got? No idea if it's whole or not. Ooh. I think it's there. It's not. Nah. Definitely mostly there. Damn, that would have been a nice one. It's not a very good wash, but you know. Is that even the root? I think so. First tooth of the night. No human. No. No, no human has ever touched this beauty. I think it's a wool with two jacks. The focus? Chocolate top, baby. <laughs> That's a good way to start the night, for sure. Tooth number one and a lot more to come. And number two. It's kind of a collaborative effort. Well, the whole night is between me and John. Oh, yeah. Just got a little tip damage, but. There you go, John. A beater. I wouldn't call that a beater. That's a pretty nice tooth. I mean, it's got some damage, but shit, man, that's a big megalodon. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> How big is it? It's oh, about two and a half, I think. No, no, three. That's three. three? My pinky's nice. three. Funk, yeah. And that looks like my pinky. This Boom. man's two, measured three, all of his two. finger indexes. I have. Kablam! Yeah. Oh. oh, please. Oh, please. Please, please, please. Ooh, ooh. Baby. Ooh, that is a tooth where it is hard to complain. Just a little bit of damage on the tip. Otherwise, beautiful. Man, dude, we're just cranking out three inch teeth. All night. Literally, as John was on his way to put this tooth in the backpack. Which I will still be delivering. I found down. this bad boy. Oh, the blondest Mako. Oh! A little damage. Still beautiful. It's not I there, love but those blonde roots so yeah, much. Yeah, look at that bad I don't know if you can see it, ladies and gentlemen, but here we go. Zoom in. Jay's getting his camera. It's cracked, but Jack said it's all there. Yeah, I see it. Right there. Definitely all there. Try a second? Yeah, maybe I should pull out the... That's the other half all the way over there? No, that's where it came out of, I think. There's the piece. And the connector. Ooh. That is a nice <laughs> tube. <team. laughs> I am awesome. going to get this repaired 100%. Yeah, I got one too. That's wow. Cool. Yeah, that's uh, four and a half, I'd say. Definitely over four. Easily yeah. over four. Yeah. Nice tooth. Woo! It's better on the bottom. Mmm. <laughs> Washed off. Nice. That's a good fit too. Prime. I don't know what it's it is. It's a little back it. piecing, no worries. Uh, yay! Smoke.
smoker, dude. Hopefully it's all there. I, I have no words. Absolutely no words. Shocked. We're at an overhang, so I'm gonna try to get this thing out. Get a close up on that. Close up. God. Please, please, please. <laughs> oh my God. Best tooth of the last two nights. Holy cow. So Walking over this way, in looking in the way. stream. Alright, John, spot us something in the water. Just in the stream here. right here. Holy cow. Looks like a waterfall nice makeup. Mango. Waterfall makeup for sure. Oh, oh yeah. That's a uh, two and a cool two. That's two a eight. big Mako, man. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, guys. I uh, just had something fall out of the wall. And it looks Ooh. like, if I think that's what I think it is, oh, oh my, my god, god. Dude. that's the best whale tooth I've ever found. That is nuts. And it's dude. sick. Look at the shape on that thing. That's nuts. Whale tooth, guys. Oh my god. So I just found my best bag of my life five minutes ago, <laughs> and then Jay finds the best whale tooth of his life. Five minutes later. Yeah, wow. dude, right. <laughs> the best megalodon hunting site of all time continues on. <sighs> nice close. Damn. Here. Yeah, polar. <laughs> Jesus, that is a beautiful tooth. That's like my favorite colors a tooth could ever possibly have. Literally. Flip her over. That's a lower too. Got a little bit of root damage, but that's alright. Yeah, that's Makes still a sick tooth. Wow. That's one of the craziest posteriors I've ever seen. Yeah. That is so cool looking. We've had two of our best shark tooth hunting nights of all time the last two nights in a row. Because the last two nights have been so good, we kind of got to go back. So I'm here with Wes. We're going back to the honey hole, back to the exact same spot to potentially find more megalodon teeth. I don't know if there's even a possibility of us doing nearly as good as we did the last two nights. If we do anything close, I will be stoked. I'm just happy to get back out there. This is legitimately three nights of shark tooth hunting in a row. I'm exhausted, but I'm excited. Wish us luck. Wesley on the gang, yeah. walking in. Oh man, pull it out. This is my biggest one that I've found. Holy oh. no way. Ooh. Watch that thing off. Dude, look at my Watch hand. Watch that thing look off. At my hand. I am not doing that. Oh. oh my God. Flip her over. Oh. What? Damn, that's gotta be your best tooth, huh? It is, since it's like years, 10 since years. You were like, yeah, since you were a little kid. Oh. Damn. Dude, I'm like shaking right now. Show them what else you got. Oh, we actually no. didn't film our first view. Wes found two back to back, four megs. And like one cranker meg. Dude, I'm like shaking right it's now. It's over three inches, holy crap, man. It's three, three and a half. All right, we're by the pump, but I got my first decent meg of the night. Zoom in on that thing. So I've come across a couple oh, things here. Looks like a Meg, possibly two Megs. I'll let you go. Oh no! Little, little wash. You. Oh man. Oh, oh my God. Oh goodness. That is just from the pile that fell. Yeah. Hey, look to the right though. That is. That's a rock. No, that. Oh, there it is. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, oh shit! As much as I want you to get two, it makes me feel a lot better at one with 
<laughs> Thanks, man. Let me a drink, baby. Hey, that's my best tooth of the night right there for sure, though. All right, we've been out here for like three hours. I am so tired from three nights of sharks tooth hunting. Well, Wes, that is where I'm at. I got three decent mags. This one was a, the middle one. Middle left is a crier. All right, so Wes has... Let's go back to the car and we'll see all these things. That is our night. Wes pulling the tooth of the night. This guy wins the prize for the night. Biggest tooth, about three and a half inches. And mission was a success. Best three days of shark's tooth hunting of all time by far. You know, I didn't have the highest of expectations with tonight, but we still managed to pull out some really sick mags. Well, there you go. Our best three days Megalodon shark tooth hunting ever by far. By far. Nearly four and a half inch. We got a four inch. We got my best tooth to date. And wow, I just, I can't believe it. 40 megs in three days. And two, four, six, eight, 11 Makos. <laughs> I can't even believe it. All right, we'll try to look at some of the best ones. We'll start down here. Found this tooth with stick bug. Sadly, this one was not caught on video where we found it. It's still a beautiful tooth. This guy's a little bit of damage on it. This was actually the third night we went out. I love this tooth. I don't know why, I just like the shape. It's got some uh, coral growing on it that I'm going to leave there because I think it looks cool. I really like this tooth a lot though. It's got a little bit of curve to it. This tooth I like too, mainly just because of how sharp it is and how big the root is. It's missing a little bit at the top right here, but still so sick. <laughs> I mean, every tooth we found is insane. I like this one too. Uh, the burlet is like a the same color as the root, which is crazy. I've never seen that before. Uh, some feeding damage, a little bit of wear, but still so epic. Then this guy, this is probably, I mean, aside from that, my biggest heartbreaker of the entire weekend. This tooth colors are just so pretty. Serrations are all there. Maybe missing like a couple. Missing this little, missing this little wing. Go down the line, you know, some awesome other smaller teeth, a little bit of damage. All these frags giant pile of smalls so many makos i like this one a lot some ridiculous hemis these are some of my favorite teeth to find ever just because of how crazy looking they are Couple other hemis. An epic dolphin tooth that Stickbug actually found. This is probably the nicest dolphin tooth I've ever seen someone find. Oh man, how do we even do this? All right, all these teeth. A Hubble, this is actually a Megalodon whose growth was stunted. It's kind of like dwarfism in people, but it's like literally that for a Megalodon. So these are, only, these are pretty rare. Out of the 40 plus megs we found, we only found one of those. Found this one last night, which was the third night out. Definitely my best tooth of the night. I'm so stoked on this one. Dark black burlet. God, this made last night worth it. I can't complain, and it dried beautifully. We got this guy. I believe I found this the first night with stick bug. That's another smoker. I think this is my favorite tooth in terms of colors. It is just so pretty. The blade dried so dark, the black burlet, the nice blonde, light root. It's got some serious damage from eating. Probably bit into a whale or chomped on a bone or maybe fell out of its mouth and bit itself. I don't know, but this tooth is insane and is definitely one of my favorites. 
of the whole trip. Then, night number two, found that tooth, and then literally five minutes later, found this tooth, which I would call my best complete Meg. Burlet's all there. All the serrations are there. I mean, you know, it's missing a couple, but for this size, it does not get much better. It really doesn't.